We are sure happy to be here with you again and we just want to take a moment to say a very special thank you to our moms and dads and families out there that are continuing to stay connected and supporting the learning from home parents you rock and we are so grateful for you and like we shared in last week's newsletter just remember that you are enough and everything you are doing and however your homes are right now is exactly the way they need to be so remember we are here supporting you connecting with you and sending our love out to you so just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to our amazing parent community um, keep going so st john we'll begin with our mindful moment this morning and we're going to do our breathing ball together with three deep cleansing breaths and as we take our mindful moment in the presence of god today i want you to think about three things as you breathe in and out that you are very grateful for today so let's begin breathing in and out with our breathing ball three breaths inviting Christ into our homes and our hearts and our minds this morning by beginning with the sign of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen today we hear in the gospel about Jesus appearing to disciples on the road to Emmaus and what I want you to think about as you listen to the gospel is those times when we feel like we need to see to believe especially right now how do we keep having faith and trust in God and Jesus even when we can't see them a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, and their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, 
What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all of this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it, just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then Jesus said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in the scriptures. As they came near the village to where they were going, he walked ahead as if he was going on. But they urged him strongly saying, stay with us because it is almost evening and now is day is nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and he gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, were not our hearts burning with us, within us when he was talking to us on the road while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour, they got up and returned to Jerusalem and they found the 11 and their companions gathered together. They were saying, the Lord has risen indeed and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what happened on the road and how he had made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So God, we ask you for the perseverance and the faith, even when our eyes do not see, but our hearts believe. Ever loving God, Jesus taught us to never stop praying for what we want. Help us see that sometimes what we want isn't what we need. When we think you don't seem to hear our prayers, help us remember that you know what is best for us. Open our hearts to hear and accept all the answers to our prayers. In thanks we pray. Amen. Together we lift our intentions to God and invite Jesus into our hearts. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church that we walk together to spread love and joy to one another as God intended. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the world that we are guided by compassion, love, and justice in our lives and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our St. John 23rd community that we love first, last, and always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the staff, women, and children of Valeda House, may God continue to watch over them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For baby Blakely and her family, that she always knows God's grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our personal needs, prayers, and intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. John 23rd, pray for us. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. John. Today we're here with another warm activity from the Healthy Living Team. Today, Kaylee would like us to draw, try some squats. Are you ready? Let's try 10 in a row. Here we go. One, One two, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, Miss Bennett, yeah. I wonder how many different types of squats St. John could think of. Whew, I'd be interested to know. Do you know another type of squat? Let us know. Bye. Goodbye. Well, St. John, our announcements this week. First of all, we want to say very special happy birthday blessings from Friday. We want to say happy birthday to Stella in pre-kindergarten, Vanessa in kindergarten, Bristol in grade two, and Blake in pre-kindergarten. On Saturday, we said ha very special happy birthday to Myrid in grade two, and on Sunday to Isabella in grade three. Happy birthday blessings to all of you. We hope God blessed you on your birthday and that you were filled with joy and happiness. Our weekly challenge is what can you do with sidewalk chalk? Be creative, have fun, write some awesome messages, and kindly ask your mom or dad to snap a picture of you with your sidewalk chalk creations and send them in my way and we'll post that. Our healthy living announcement, we want to talk about taking breaks from screen time, especially in our remote learning worlds right now. We know everybody is working really hard using their devices to stay connected, but it's also very important to take breaks from your screen, play outside, talk face to face with your family members and your puppies, read a book, be in nature, Take those important brain breaks from your screen. Be healthy this week. Our sacred symbol this month is the beaver. The beaver represents wisdom. The beaver is an expert builder and can transform the environment with hard work and determination. But it's very hard to work alone. We need to have wisdom to see that Jesus wants us to believe in him and follow his example. Jesus will work with you but we have to pray to him and tell him what is in our heart. St. John asks us to make a plan for today. So today, why not reach out to Jesus in prayer? Talk to him and let him know how you're feeling. You could tell Jesus what troubles you or what really you're excited about. You could ask him to pray for you and to pray for the people in your life. Make the plan today to talk with Jesus and know that he will listen. So if you haven't guessed already, our mystery reader from last week was Mrs. Lufbasil. And today, your teachers will be sending out her special read aloud to you for you to view and hear her with a special story. Our mystery reader clues this week, think hard and try to guess which St. John staff member this might be. This mystery reader has two children that used to attend St. John the 23rd. This mystery reader loves to water ski and watch baseball. And this mystery reader's favorite animal is a turtle. Think hard, St. John, and do your best guessing, and we'll reveal next Monday at assembly. St. John, have an amazing week together. Stay safe, have fun, play hard, and send us those creations of what you can make with sidewalk chalk. Have a great week, and remember, you are loved. Bye.